my name is Paul Luna, and you're tuned into FMB Lunacy. I am here today with Chief Grower of Produce, Greg Crafter. Greg, what is produce? And am I pronouncing it correctly? You're pronouncing it correctly. And thank you very much, Chef Luna, for taking the time to want to speak with me today. So um, to answer your question, produce, we are an indoor hydroponic farm. We grow culinary herbs, leafy greens, vegetables, and we do it all within a warehouse space. Talk to us about hydro garden walls and hydro herb planters. So the hydro garden walls or hydroponic wall systems, you know, it's nothing new, uh, but we, I came to this conclusion of this is something that can impact society and our communities in a certain way due to the pandemic. You know, it's, it's interesting about bringing food closer to the community and fresher for the community. And last year, on the onset of launching this business, it was March 13th, 2020. And just as the pandemic was setting in, you know, we were, we do a lot of wholesale to restaurants. Well, that instantly evaporated. And so I had to shift gears and I had to think, you know, how can I still get food to people and how do I do it fresh and how can I make it simple and easy and less intimidating? So that was the idea behind the hydroponic garden walls. I'm taking what I'm already doing here at the farm and just packing it into a very small unit so that it can go inside of the interior of someone's home or restaurant so they can do it themselves. And so I, I got the idea to do that, and it's been received quite well, especially in the urban communities where there's not a lot of space and there's, you know, a, a, a desire to really control and grow your own food, if you will. What is inland? The inland, how I came up with that name, a good friend of mine would we were talking and she said, you know, you should really think about identifying the unit as some type of person, give it life, you know, and don't confine it. And I agreed a hundred percent. So we started thinking about, you know, the traditional way of growing food on the mainland in a horizontal way, which we like, well, no, we're bringing that, traditional farming perspective indoors. And so we started playing around with words and she was like, you know, you should call it the inland because it's land that you're bringing inside and you know, it's its own ecosystem. And so I, it stuck, as soon as she said it, it stuck. So I, I don't have credit for that name, but she 